Now I'm going to do something called narrating while I'm editing. Um, and I'm just going to start building the edit, which you'll see later, um, and just describe out loud what I'm doing as I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Um, and I'll be using various functions that, you know, I've been showing you. So I've already loaded up my clips, staggered on tracks one and two, so I have a lot of mobility. Um, and I'm going to enlarge this. So I have my opening shot. Bacon, eggs. And that had been cut short before, so I need to drag that out. So I'm going to drag everything over so I have room because I'm right at the head of my thing, and I'm going to just drag this over. So. Okay, go. Hi, my name is Kat. So I want to... I want to decide the moment when she says hi. And you hear me say go. So we'll just say that's the beginning for the moment. Okay. Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm going to make spaghetti carbonara. There are only five ingredients, maybe six, pasta. Okay, so now I want to make sure it matches with the Next cut, so I'm just going to look at it. There was a mark there. I'm not sure it was the right place. So let's say there. So I'm going to cut this, and now if I use the W, I can have those two right up against each other. So, and you know, I cut the end and I brought everything over, but obviously it's not the right place. So I'm going to look again, her fingers coming down, and this enters the frame, so I'm going to say maybe there, and I'm going to cut that and drag this over, snap to clip, I'm in snap to clip, I've got a little bit of the p, -p so, visually it looks okay, but the audio is an overlap, so I'm going to use the Option key and drag the word, the P, out of the way. And, Pasta. and I'm just going to look at it now. Pasta. So visually that's a good cut, but I have a gap in my audio. So I'm going to try to Option drag this over and see what it's like, just for the moment. Pasta. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Six. Pasta. Now there's something funny here because she starts to say pasta in the visual, right? Pasta, but she only says pasta here. So I have to fix that. So how am I going to fix that? Well, I certainly need for her to hear her say pasta when she says pasta. So I'm going to look at the picture. and I'm going to mark this, whoops, I'm going to mark that more or less where it is, and now I've lost my place, so let me do, find that again, pasta, so let me drag this over and see what happens, pasta. okay, pasta. so we don't have a match between when she points and what she's saying. So I'm going to have to work to shift the audio so that it aligns with, with when she's pointing at the rest of the items. Bacon, eggs, pepper, pasta. So how about just to move along, so sometimes when I'm editing, I might say, okay, I've got it ballpark here, and let me see what happens next, and I'm going to go back. I know this is a problem, and I'm going to go back and fix it. But now, I'm going to go to the next clip, and I kind of want those to be butted up to each other, so I'm going to use the A and just butt them up. And I'm going to watch this, and normally I would watch things in real time, but she goes, has a drink of wine. 
and looks at us and then closes her eyes, so we don't want that, right? So maybe we just want it when she's looking. So let's say I'm going to mark that like, yeah, that looks like maybe that's the good end point for that clip. And then what's happening on the next one? Okay, I'm going to add a little olive oil. So it seems okay, I'm add a little there's a little bit of a jump in it, which I don't really want. So I'm going to go back to where the image is steady with my right and left arrow keys and say, okay, I like that as the head of my picture, so I'm going to mark it. What's happening in the audio? Okay, I'm going to add a little. So it pretty much starts at the same place. So it could be that I've got an easy cut here because if I drag this over, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to add a little olive oil to it's a little quick, right? Um, so maybe. Okay, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to. Okay, I'm gonna add a little. Do we? Do I drag it over? I get out of snap to clip. Do I drag it? You know, eight frames. Okay, I'm gonna add a little. Do I drag it? Maybe another few frames. Olive oil to my water, not too much water. It still seems a little. Okay, I'm going to add a little. So maybe, maybe I decide I'm just going to go from here while she's drinking. Maybe that would be a funny place to cut. So maybe I'll just go from here and I'll put myself back in snap to clip. That's a little bit of an odd cut, so I'll see maybe what I want to do with that later. Again, I'm just trying to get the basics together here. Um, so she's doing, she's boiling the water. Now in this case, I've got time for her to say, um, which is sort of what I showed earlier. So I'm going to enlarge it and um, I, I'm first going to look at this and see when she puts that down, and then I don't need to be looking at this for very long, right? So I'm going to option drag this back, then I'm going to move this over so the um is underneath that, and I'll see if that works. So that kind of makes sense because a person could be putting the salt shaker down and starting to talk, right? So, um, while the water is boiling, I'm gonna and she turns her head, so that seems good. So then I'm going to go, and of course in real life I would be, let me move, get these in here. Um, oh, I made a mistake. I'm going to undo that because I didn't realize, yes, that's all there. Okay, I'm going to make that move that over, um, and I'm going to see what happens when she's talking about the guanciale, which is one of the key ingredients. Guanciale. You can also use Oscar Mayer bacon or pancetta, but I think guanciale is considered the gold standard. I'm going to cut the guanciale up into mats. So now she, you know, there's sort of a bit of a mess at the end. She looks down, and but then she purses her lips, which I think I wouldn't, like she looks up, it seems like she wants to start talking again. And also I want to feel like she's starting the action as she puts her head down. So I'm going to mark this possibly as the beginning. And if I felt like I wanted that, I could also go in to the source window and mark an in and look at the timeline. It just cut it, okay? So I've just cut it to where I think it should start and then... So before she opens her mouth, because I don't want her to think she's talking again, I'm going to drag this over and butt that and I'm going to see how it looks. But I think Guanciale is considered the gold standard. I'm going to 
cut the guanciale up into matchsticks. In order to do this, you need a sharp knife. I don't have one. So then I'm thinking, you know, this has to be a certain length, this film. And if I keep in the first part where she says, I'm going to cut it into matchsticks, it's going to be too long. So I actually want to cut in here instead. Um, and we'll see how that works, okay? So we'll just get it, let's say, here. But I had a good cut point there, so I want to remember what that is. Now, I could either drag this back or I could just make a mark there. Sometimes I don't cut it by dragging because I might want to shift this clip around a little bit to see where the good point is for it to be in relation to that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start somewhere like here and I'm going to drag that back, drag it over, overlapping that, and see what that looks like. In order to do this, you need a sharp knife. I don't have one. So, you know, you start, there's a little bit of action. We, we all understand how th people jump through time. We don't have to watch or pick up the knife. We just want a smooth cut from one to the other. That seems good. So then I'm going to go along and I'm going to scroll through this because I know this shot and I know that I zoom in. So if I were watching it for the first time, I think, oh, okay, wait, I zoom in and I don't like zooms. I like to make a nice cut and a cut that has some good continuity in it. So I'm going to look at where the zoom starts. Oh, sorry, where the zoom ends. And unfortunately, it ends when the knife is down. So maybe I'll start about here. So the knife is halfway up. And I'm going to mark that. And then I'm going to go back to this. And maybe I don't need to see so much cutting. But maybe I do because I, if I have to match it, So I'm looking for where the knife gets lifted up there. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back with my right left arrow keys. And I'm going to say maybe there. That might be a match for matchstick cutting. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to use the C key. And I'm going to cut that. And I'm in snap to clip, so it was OK. Go back to V, and then I'm going to drag this up. But see, Premiere, it doesn't. They don't both go. So now, I can drag them over and overlap it, and I can see what it's like. So I'm going to watch it in real time. That was pretty good, right? But if it wasn't, I could just look at it frame by frame. And even frame by frame, it's, the knife is up from the table, but in real time, it looks pretty smooth. OK, so now I've got that one. And now I want to go to the next clip, which I'm going to drag over. So this one ends there. I don't really measure anything. I just get to a point, I think that's about the right amount. And so this is a moment when it's taken her a while, it's going to take her a while to cut all of those. And so I think maybe I should suggest that by creating a fade out. So I'm going to do that, or I'm not going to do that, because instead I'm going to use Command D and only have it happen in the picture not the audio. And then I want to make it longer so I can double click on that and maybe I'll make it, you know, 220 for whatever reason. You know, you keep trying things. So let's see. But you see what happened is because there was picture under it, it did a weird dissolve. 
So I'm going to realize that I should not have done that, and I'm just going to set, solve that problem by dragging that back, right? So now let's see. I don't really measure anything. And, for example, not only was there a dog barking in the backyard while we filmed this, but if this picture is fading out, we also want the sound to fade out. So I'm just going to, sort of temporarily, just to be happy when I listen to it, I'm going to make a couple of marks on here and fade the sound down to go with the picture. But that was... That was, why did I hear that? Oops, I have to undo that. Um, option, drag that back. Because that was the same thing except, okay. I don't really measure anything. So then when I want to start up again, maybe I really want to start right when she's speaking. So. Mark that, drag it over so that butt's up to it, and see how it is. I don't really measure anything, I just... Seems pretty good. Again, like with audio, I would have the audio fade in a little bit. I don't really measure anything. I just get to a point, I think that's about the right amount. Now I'm going to cut them into matchsticks. So now again, we're going to need a match cut between this and the close-ups. So I think, oh, that's about far enough, more or less, let's say. So I'm going to mark that. And then I'm going to go further along. And I'm just going to scroll. And I'm going to find, so she's made like three cuts. So she's starting a new one. And let's see if it works. Might work there. But then she drags that away, so that's not good. Maybe she brings out a new piece. And how about this one? Let's play this in real time. Let's see if that might match. It's getting a little complicated on the board here. Let's see this one. This one might work. Okay, she's holding it in place. She's doing the third cut. So how about that? So maybe this is going to start. I'll go back a little bit. I'll mark, I'll, I'll just cut that. I'll use my C and I'll cut that. And then I'm going to go back here where she's done the three and she's starting to do the fourth. So I think that's too far. So I'm going to go back here and see where, more or less where I am. So I'm going to cut there, do a V, delete, and I'm going to bring this over, and I'm going to bring it up and below. And then I can look at it. Sometimes I just look at it in slow time. So that's where she starts. So that's the first one goes too far. So. She, she brings it up, and she starts to do the third. So that might be where I want to go. So I'll make it bigger with the plus sign. I'll make a mark on it. I'll drag this over and see if I like it. And then to match sticks. I'm not really happy with that. So she picks up the knife. And we want that to start moving, so it might be there. Um, the one below, I could move this over with the option and sideway arrow, and I'm just revealing a few frames from below. That might be good. I think I might move it a couple frames over and let I'll look at it. 
It might be that the second clip should start a little later. So maybe I want that one to start there, so I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna, actually, I, I'm gonna drag this one back so I know where to take this one. So I'm gonna snap on that. I'm gonna drag it over. It's okay, it's not great, and you always have to work to get it to be great. But for now, I'm gonna say that's pretty close. And the next thing I need is, let me make it smaller so I can drag these back. Drag them over, and now it's on the other track. I want it to be on that track. So I'm gonna draw, put that one in and see where we're going with this clip. It takes a lot of time to cut the matchsticks, but it's worth the effort once you eat your carbonara. So she slides that stuff over and, and, then, and then, you know, nothing happens. So now I've got a wide shot of her and maybe, um, maybe I wanna see her, but I can't because obviously I zoomed out. So what I think I want to do is just have like a last wide shot of her as she cuts it. And then she, and then she brushes it aside, right? So I'm going to roughly get to the point where she's framed correctly. And I'm going to drag that over. And I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm going to see... I'm going to go back to where she's still cutting. And, you know, maybe she, she, okay, that's too far. So I'm going to go back here, right and left arrow keys, and sort of get her in the motion of cutting. And that's, I know that's about as far as I can go with that. And then I'm going to look at this one and see, yeah, she's cutting, it's fine. I don't know how much of it I want. One, two, one, two. Okay, so maybe I'll go somewhere in here. And I don't remember what direction the knife was going in, so I'm going to look at this. It was going forward. So I want to go here and get it when it's going forward. It's about to go backward. Okay, so maybe that's the place. So let me drag that back and see what it looks like. It's okay, again, it's not, I, I wouldn't leave it like that for sure, but I'm gonna leave it like that for the moment. And I'm gonna bring this next one over and I have to keep alternating them. Um, so at the end of that, she, she pushed it over. So what I wanna do is cut, I wanna change the angle. So in this one, she's, let's say she's sort of done and here she's done. So I'm going to stop there right as she picks up the knife. And again, like now I'm going to, you know, go into the source because I feel like it and cut that off and drag it over. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. And see, there's quite a difference in the sound. And this time, let's see if I want this, if I want a little more. So option to the right a few frames. Nah, that's not so great. So she's lifting it up. And what's she doing in here? She is lifting it up. So I should be there instead. So I'm going to drag this back so I know where that is. And then I'm going to drag this over and put it in place. And if it weren't for the terrible sound difference, um, sometimes I get rid of the sound because it's so distracting when I'm trying to edit. Um, and, you know, it might be in the long run that I have to go back 
and turn that fan on and record some room tone so that I don't have such a problem. Or maybe I can fix it in the sound editing. So then, last but not least, she's going to wash her hands. So she puts down the knife. After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are greasy. Also, it's raw bacon. I'm going to wash them. OK, so we might want to hear her talk so we After don't have I to stare up. at our rusty old sink. So I'm going to get this bigger. And I'm going to mark here. That might be a little bit long, but after I cut up the guanciale, after I cut up, maybe I would, maybe I would move this over where I can see the audio, and just see what it's like, like after I cut up. Okay. After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are. Maybe I wanted her to say guanciale. So let's see. After. That might not be much. But let's see. Let's try. So that's where it is. And let's see if that's maybe too much talking under the other shot. After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are green. Yeah, that's a little too much. So why don't we move it back after I cut up the guanciale? The guan. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to take it out of snap to clip so I can kind of slide around. After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are greased. No, see, it's a problem with the knife. So one thing I could do is I could lower the sound of the knife. So that's kind of loud right there. So what if I did this? After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are green. So if I needed, in terms of space and time, uh, then diminishing the noise of the knife means that we hear her say, after I cut up. So. After I cut up the guanciale, my hands are greasy. Also, it's. Okay. Well, it's a good idea to wash your hands when you work with raw pork. And then this is a long shot. I don't need to see her wash her hands for that long, right? So maybe, I, maybe I'll go about this far and I'll just go back to my V and I'll cut this off and I'll go into snap to clip. And that was number nine. So number 10 is saute and stir. And now we've got a jump, not really a jump cut, okay. but. Now I'm going to saute the guanciale very slowly. So she looks up at the camera. So I might have, so I want her looking, but I'm going to make it bigger. I want her looking, but I don't want to hear me say, okay, right? So I have to see where I'm saying that. So it's about there. And if you'll notice, the keyframe line is in here while I'm editing. And I had said before that I would always hide that unless I was doing something specific. But in order to show you just a basic edit setup, I have left them on. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to option cut. But now there's a gap of audio. Now I'm going to saute the. So if I drag this over, chances are it's just more water running, no, I'm gonna saute the which is a very uh, absurd thing to continue. So again, as before, I'm going to use the pen tool, and I'm going to get rid of the sound of the water in a brief moment. Now I'm going to saute the guanciale. Maybe it's a little weird. Now I'm going to saute. 
Maybe it's a little weird to have her look up at the camera. So maybe, maybe I'm going to have it start there instead. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure nothing's in the way. Um, because sometimes I want, so let's say I'm going to drag this picture back until it's butted to that. So if I drag it up, then I can, sometimes I'll do this. I'll just drag this over. I know, I know I've made a problem there, but I just want to see it really quickly. No one's going to saute the punch So if I like that, I think, okay, that was better. Maybe it wasn't, but let's say it was better. So now I know I'm just going to take those, take that back so it's correct. And here, and so she's going to saute. So the fat renders out of it and it becomes very crispy. She's going to saute that back and then it will be And then the flame didn't go on, and so we stopped shooting. And now I'm going to stop narrating the edit. Thank you for watching this. I hope it's useful. Share it with anybody you want. I want to thank Princeton University for supporting me doing this because I did it in this beautiful studio. And Dan Kearns is the engineer for the University Broadcast Center. So he set it all up and he did a fantastic job and I want to thank him. So have a good time editing.